Our next story uh, is about spin, smoke, and mirrors, and the PR firm that came to Hewlett Packard's rescue. Here's Melissa Long uh, with us. Melissa, I know you've been traveling the world for us uh, back from Hong Kong. Yes. But anyway, tell us about this story. Well, good morning, Betty, and good morning to you. You may never have actually heard of the firm that advised HP last week, but the chances are you're pretty familiar with its work. Apco Worldwide started as a branch of a high-powered Washington law firm and now has more than 500 consultants around the world. APCO urged HP to disclose that CEO Mark Hurd had been accused of sexual harassment even after HP found out he did not actually violate company policy. Now, according to the New York Times, an APCO staffer wrote a mock newspaper story sensationalizing what could happen if the accusations then leaked out. Now, APCO has worked with a number of companies in crisis. It helped Merck polish its image after a study found that its Vioxx painkiller doubled the risk of heart attacks and stroke. APCO also worked with Ford when the explorers with Firestone tires were blamed for fatal crashes. And now APCO is helping the Financial Services Roundtable. It's a lobbying group that's trying to rebuild trust in Wall Street. APCO says it doesn't talk about its clients, certainly making a lot of money off of them, however. Back in 08, the company reported annual revenue of more than $100 million. Wow, okay, that's a lot of crises for them, so I guess it is making money. Mm -hmm. All right, Melissa, thank you so much. Sure. Welcome back. Thank you.